Networks are not just about connecting. Networks are about change, and change is about performance. You can imagine the Jewish world is filled with stars, a whole sky full of stars. And while they might be visible if you look up, it's really hard to understand what those stars can bring into your field of view. The idea that these stars can be aligned, connected, networked into a constellation that gives a much greater sense of visibility and connectedness in the community is exactly the type of opportunity that working with networks presents. Network, network, network. Well, <clears throat> network is the hot topic of the week. I define network as a group of nodes and connections between nodes. And those nodes could be people, they could be organizations, they could be countries, they could be businesses. I think a network is a group of people who come together around shared identity, a shared desire or belief or something that they share that's between them. I think that movements come out of networks, I think that organizations develop out of networks, I think communities uh, are you know, in and through networks. It's really a social map of relationships. I think a network is the understanding that rather than investing in the power of an institution, you invest in the power of the web that links the individuals um, across various micro-communities together. We have three key goals. One is to look at the language of networks and help bring that language and vocabulary into the Jewish world. Two is to get some key professionals, leaders, volunteers, and thinkers to really understand how the ideas of networks can apply to the work they're doing. And third, create a community. Really to create a network of people that care passionately about leveraging networks to create change in the Jewish world. There's this amazing shift where people are starting to relate to each other as their primary form of how they define themselves, much more to how they relate to institutions or organizations. And it's not just socially, which has happened for a long time, but it's actually from an identity and labeling perspective. So for us as leaders and creators of Jewish life, this is an amazing moment in which we can, we're kind of going back to my community is my minion, my group of people that I share life with, I share life cycles with, as opposed to what has happened over the last couple decades in which the institution has been first and all of my personal connections come later, later. People are experimenting right now with how, not just how you meet people online, but how online tools how you help you meet people offline. Conferences exist because people want to meet new people. Online dating exists because people want to meet new people. Bars exist because people want to drink and then also meet new people. It's not just what we're able to create in the moment, it's what kind of ripples into time are we able to create. One of our key primary strategies is creating platform organizations that serve as the network hubs and the network weavers. Creating and catalyzing networks across shared values, across the value of service, across love and knowledge of Israel, across creating an inclusive and welcoming Jewish community. It also means that we're linking networks of networks to create systemic structural change in Jewish life. People can't go it alone to, to do social change, that they really have to have a mechanism by which they involve lots of different kinds of partners so it's not an organizational coalition anymore. You have to include bloggers, government organizations. I mean there are a lot of players at the table when you're thinking about doing social change. And then you have also the growing uh, digital uh, revolution which has basically made the problems more visible, the networks more visible, things are more uh, transparent 
and people want to participate. The vision for the Network Conference is to bring together a really smart group of people to help us think and to think together about how do we maximize the power of social networks for the future of the Jewish community. So I think what we're trying to do is understand how do we use the way in which people are communicating and emerging technologies to weave a stronger tie between people who have shared interests shared ideals and shared values to create a, a more sense of a collective. I'm feeling very optimistic and, and somewhat inspired by this idea of us all kind of collectively zooming out, even if it's for a couple of hours or for one day, um, and thinking about what the potential would be if we all managed to communicate what our respective goals are or visions for the Jewish world and figured out how we might be able to support one another towards reaching those goals. I've learned a lot here about the importance of really connecting the pieces of Sharsheret that are already flourishing, um, but seem to be flourishing to a certain extent on their own. And I see more clearly now the connections that we can start to make between the different networks that are already existing and thriving. I think a lot of folks have been stumbling in the dark around this kind of uh, arena of networks, and I think some of us do it fairly intuitively, but to provide language and structure around what it is that we've been noticing there's something here but not understanding specifically what that is, is something that I think is phenomenal as these sessions are representing. One of the things that we're really realizing at this conference is that people are grappling with some key challenges and ideas. And to find one another, to find some people who are sharing those challenges, you can help them share the search for solutions, it's been a really exciting part of the discussion. The talent, the innovation, and the creativity here is electric, and it keeps me young. And since I'm looking at turning 73 and will not have a facelift, that is vitally important. I need all the help I can get, and I'm counting on each and every one of them to come up with wonderful creative ideas, to learn so much in the next two days, to network, to connect, and I'll see all of them at Burning Man. Bye -bye.